Hello sixth form, um, I hope you're all safe and well and that life is being kind to you during these very, very strange times that we're living in at the moment. Um, the reason I thought I put a message together is because I'm getting um, very similar questions coming through and I can't reply back to every single one of you. Um, so I thought I'd put a message together and then you've got it there as your reference. So my message um, this evening will be um, based around three sections. So first one being for year 12 um, and your careers and aspirations. Then I want to address the year 13 engineering diploma students. And then finally, the main bulk of my message will be for year 13 students who are looking to go to university come September and obviously the questions regarding that at the moment. So firstly, year 12, um, in addition to all of the other work that you've been set by your teachers, um, and then next week we are moving into phase two of the virtual learning process. Um, so you'll be given like a timetable where your work will, might become more structured for you. But in addition to all of that, I need you to start thinking about your careers and your aspirations. Now, normally after Easter, I'd be coming back to school and I'll be starting to launch these activities with your tutor to be doing with you during LRG time. And I'd be organising an aspirations day for you. Now, obviously, I'm not sure when we are going back to school. So I need to start that process now. And I need you guys to be doing some research from home. Um, now, I want you to be in the best possible position come September. I need you guys to put this pandemic this situation to one side and start thinking about your future but having that information already to hand so you can make those choices um, as soon as we come back so i will be launching a booklet for you um, i'll be putting on firefly i'll be sending the link out to you i need you to work through that booklet um, and you don't need to print it off or anything, just work through the tasks, make notes on your laptop, or on a piece of paper, on your phone, wherever it might be. One of those tasks will be a personal statement. I need you to start putting a draft together. Use my template, use all the resources that I'll give you, okay, just to make sure you cover every single area. Because when we do return back to school, I do need you guys to be handing this into your tutors so they could be checking your first draft. Because come September, if you're interested in going to university, I need you to start applying and sending off your application. The second part of my um, message is for the Year 13 Diploma Engineering students, those students who may be interested in topping up their um, qualification to an extended diploma, so staying in Year 14. I've already sent out the letter of application of interest um, to you over email. So please have a look at your emails. I've already had quite a lot sent back to me who are already interested, which is fantastic. But just in case you've not had chance to, um, if you're interested, please send that to me by Monday because Monday next week I'll be starting to sift through those applications. I'll be looking at previous attendance. Obviously, the attendance currently will not affect your position. Um, I'll also be looking at the progress that you were making before we actually left school. So if you're interested in putting that application in, please have a look on your emails and send that to me by Monday next week. Now, finally, my main message is for your 13 students um, who are looking to go to university come September. Now, some of my message um, will also include some advice from Aston University because myself and Mr. Lot Wheaton had a meeting with them last week. Um, so please um, listen and take on board some of this advice because it is really important. OK, so you're 13 students, A level students. Obviously, there's no exams for you to be taken anymore. You're waiting for your calculated grades that are going to be given to you um, or calculated from your teachers. However, it is strongly advised by myself, by Aston Uni, but also any article that you might read. You must keep working, keep ticking yourselves over, because when you do eventually go to university, whether it's September, October, whenever it might be, OK, um, we don't want you to have any gaps in your knowledge. We don't want you to be 10 steps behind everybody else. OK, so please continue to work on past papers, cover any content that wasn't maybe fully finished before we left school okay just keep yourself ticking over so that you are in the best possible position when you do actually start university now btech students is a little bit different for you the advice for you is that you must keep working 
okay the calculated grade for you guys is far more complex and the advice is that the more units you have completed the better it will be for you and your final grade so please continue to submit your work if you need any support with that please get in touch with your teachers over email or over firefly and please don't leave it to the last minutes please please stick to your deadlines it is really important and that will also help us out as well now Aston University wants to reassure you um, that they are accepting these calculated grades um, and as long as they are meeting the entry requirements then you will as normal as usual be given that place um, at university. They actually sent a letter out so if you have applied to the university through UCAS already then you may have received this letter and it's just to reassure their applicants that you know they understand the position you're in and obviously the pressure the added pressure now of no exams um, that you might be feeling at the moment. Now there is a dedicated page for you I will email that link out to you um, and it is a, like a frequently asked question page FAQ page so a lot of you've all got the same questions so please have a look at that page have a look at the information they are, are telling you and also have a look at their well-being page so on top of the services that we provide they're also giving you advice about how you can stay mentally strong and how to look after your well-being during these um, very challenging times that we're going through at the moment now normally in UCAS you would um have to make your final choices um, by the 5th of May. They have now extended that to the 19th of May. So you've got like a two week extension um, in order for you to make these choices. So you've got to make a firm choice, which is your first choice university. And then you have to make an insurance choice, which is like your second choice of university. Now, the advice again from myself is that these decisions should follow the, the same process as normal, the same thought process as you would if this situation wasn't here at the moment. Okay, so there's a couple of points that I'm going to just um, ask you to think about before you make these choices. So first point is, are the entry requirements or are the conditions of the offer that you've been given, are they realistic? OK, now I know, you know, you don't know your um, calculated grade, but you wouldn't have known your grade in the summer either before making this choice normally, okay? So you need to base your choices on um, on on where you were and where you were expecting to be at, in the summer, okay, in your, for your grades. You know that if you were working to, to a grade D, it is going to be very, very unlikely you were going to achieve an A star um, in the summer. So... Please think about your um, offer, okay, and make those choices wisely. My second point is, have you managed to visit the university, okay, or the city that you, that university is in? Now, no one knew, to, no one knew what extent this was going to be um, and what we were going to be faced with. So some of you may not have managed to do that, okay. So what I want you to do is just do a bit of research, research that city research that university get as much information as you can okay because i need you to make sure that it is the right place for you before you actually move up there or you move away okay so ashton university are actually offering um applicant virtual visits okay so have a look on their website see when they are launching them um, but also look at other university. They might they may be offering something similar. So just have a look because obviously everybody is trying to um, do is do do what they can for you guys at the moment. Just try and get as much information as possible. Now, finally, when you do make these firm choices and these insurance choices, it's important to note that universities will know the rank that you put them in. So if you make one choice a firm that university will know they are first choice likewise they will also know if they are also second choice so if you put them as insurance okay now the advice as always from any university okay whether we're going through this situation or not is that obviously universities want to see that commitment from you and Aston University clearly said to me the other week that they will look more favorably on a student who will make their choice a firm choice 
over a um, an insurance choice because you are showing them that commitment to them okay um so just just make sure that when you are making those choices that you are making those choices for the right reasons okay now some of you during these times may have had lots of thinking time and might think that actually you want to change your UCAS application. That cannot be done through me at all. OK, not anymore, because once I sent them off at Christmas or January time, that was I, ca I cannot now have any more um, contact with UCAS regarding that. OK, you have to ring them direct if you want to make any choices or make uh, sorry, make any changes. OK, you will also need your UCAS ID number, which you should have on your emails or, or, or in your account already. Now, once you have your grades and obviously, you know um, what kind of position that you are in, almost like if it was like a resort stay, um, it is then very, very difficult to make any choices or sorry, make any changes that you might might want to do. So, for example, last year, um, one student in particular decided to make his choices um, slightly lower. He decided to put a firm choice into an offer that was probably lower than where he should have been anyway. But he felt like he didn't want to put any pressure on himself. So he he put a firm choice in and he rejected all the other offers. OK, when the results day came, obviously he did, you know, did very well. He got actually he achieved what he was set out to achieve. So the the choices that he rejected were no longer available. OK, so he then didn't want his firm choice anymore. He wanted one of the choices that he had rejected. That was very difficult. OK, so it was lots of phone calls. He had to go direct to the university to see what um, options they had left for him, to see what choices, um, courses they could give to him. He then had to go direct to the university, in which time the point of him putting the phone down to ring up UCAS, that position had then already been given to somebody else. So it was very, very difficult. So I just need you to make sure that when you are making these firm choices and insurance choices, that you are really making them, um, you know, get your family on board, get get talking to your family, email myself if you want any other advice on it, but just try and make the best informed choice as you can. Um, that's my message. Um, but like I said, if you've got any questions for me, please email me. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but also just check out the university pages, web pages. They've all got pages dedicated to applicants like yourselves. So go away, do a little bit of research. And if you've got any further questions, then but as always, just come back and email me and I'll, I'll give you as much information as I can. Anyway, I'd just like to make sure that you are all staying safe, stay indoors, support the NHS, etc. And I hope to see you soon.